Here we go then. So it's eight key questions that any property investor should ask a property sourcer. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, and these are some of the, you know, the key questions we get asked all the time. Right then, Adam. Hey. That property you sourced me, can I get a mortgage after the renovation? Of course. Hundred percent. That was easy. Of course you can. Shortest video ever. End. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you can. We put clients in touch with preferred mortgage broker, mm -hmm. and they've worked always with brilliant count, countless clients of ours, you and me as well. Yep. Um, and yes, you will always be able to put a mortgage on a house after a renovation. We'll have done the house up to the highest level standard. It'll be fully compliant. We'll have a brand new um, electrical certificate, gas certificate, EPC if required. Yep. So it will pass all the compliance and, and lettable checks that a mortgage um, lender would expect. Yep. The key thing I would say is the vast majority of all mortgage lenders like you to have owned the house for six months. That's really important. Yes, you it's get a law. On, yes, after the, the renovation, but wait until you've owned the house for six months. Yep. There'll be some specialist lenders that would lend to you sooner than that. We kind of tend to suggest you might be better off waiting if you want a bit of a better Shall we deal? just dig into why? Because I know well, some they people... Just charge, they just charge slightly higher fees. They tend... They've got a um, sort of experience of downvaluing a little bit just to build themselves in a bit of extra. And importantly, if you're impatient to get the money out, they're not that much quicker. No, they're not. By the time you bought it, got it registered, land registry of their end, expedited, the thing getting a bit technical, but what, what not, gone through their paperwork, you'd probably be at four months anyway. Mm. And... Yeah. It's not they're, worth it. It's not worth it. In my opinion. By the time you, opinion. we've got it rented, uh, got it renovated and rented yeah. out for a couple of months. Interestingly, there are, and we should mention this, and this won't be for everybody, but if you're a, a portfolio landlord or you're a landlord that's going to be buying more, there is, via our preferred mortgage broker, and that's why we use them, the option to refinance quicker with one of the lenders that wouldn't normally refinance quicker because you are, I wouldn't say one of our clients, but we have an in. We have it. Let's, let's put it that way. And um, yeah, that can be really useful. I refinance my properties quicker than six months, but using a normal broker. Oh, sorry, a lender. But yeah, it's worth, worth okay. throwing in. So, so yeah, yeah, short answer is yes. Absolutely, you can get you a can. mortgage after the renovation. A few caveats. We've got to make sure we've sourced the right property, Definitely. right area, getting getting the reno renovation or get the compliance documents right. It's important as well that when you rent the thing out, the rent level versus yeah. what you're going to get the mortgage for, it's going to all fit. And we'd look into that. We'd look into well, all that. Source it. Correct. The buy to let order form will. I mean, if you came to Adam and said, I want a house that's X, Y, and Z, it, that's not mortgageable when we're finished. And that's no bother at all. Lots of our clients buying cash, keeping cash. And I can't remember the, 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 the number, but it's something like 50, 40, high 40 is nearly 50% of all landlords in the UK. Is that right? Mm, I, I, have, I have a mortgage. I might be slightly less than you that. on it, but yeah. No, no, it's more than you think. It's, more than it's a lot more than you think, but mm. it's might, maybe, maybe it's 30 to 40%. So it's a big number and certainly reflected in our, our landlords. We've got slightly higher numbers than the national average, I think, because um, you know, lots of landlords use it as a property bank account. But if it's relevant to you and you need a mortgage, it'll be captured on the sourcing, buy to that property order form, and you will end up with a house that is mortgageable at the end of it. There you go. All right. Bye for now. Cheers.